Hi and welcome to 3450 News. I'm Dale Whiteman. Sectarian violence for the last five years has caused many Iraqis to retreat to the safety of their homes and become increasingly sedentary. According to a 2006 World Health Organization survey, 26% of Iraqi men and 38% of Iraqi women aged between 25 and 65 years old were obese with a body mass index of 30 or higher. The fall of Saddam Hussein didn't just usher in chaos and violence, it also introduced satellite television to Iraqis, as well as widespread unemployment, a combination that appears to be taking its toll on Iraqi waistlines. Meanwhile, paternal smoking increases death among infants and children in Indonesia, according to a study of over 360,000 rural and urban families. The study, Paternal Smoking and Increased Risk of Infant and Under-5 Child Mortality in Indonesia, found that paternal smoking diverts money from basic necessities to cigarettes and adversely affects child health. As a response to the findings, it is recommended that tobacco control now be considered among the strategies needed to improve child survival in the region. And finally, a small study has described how diabetics in Thailand drew on cultural notions of social harmony and bodily imperfection to reconstruct their identity once diagnosed with diabetes. The research was conducted for a period of 18 months and included participant observation, documentary analysis, and interviews with health providers, family members, and 33 adults with type 2 diabetes. The key objective was to explore how people in Bangkok, Thailand, make sense of the challenges associated with living with type 2 diabetes. That's it for this week, and if you've got a story you'd like to share, please do email us at info at 3450.com. Thanks for watching, and join us next week for 3450 News.